Hey folks, Moose here. One of the common questions I get is packing. How do I get all my stuff, junk, crap, crud, camera gear from my office to where I'm going to go work so in a protective manner that's effective and of course allows me to do that thing called photography. Well, you can see on the web how I pack the either my MP1, which is the bag I'm going to take when I'm doing wildlife work, or the uh, air, uh, think tank airport, how I take the work for aviation. What I want to do here is just give you a little idea. Um, this is all what you see here is going basically in uh, one bag except for one item. I'll point that out. And this is what I'm going to take. This is the support items. And this is going to go in a uh, uh, hard sided case that will go in the belly of the plane. So this will be my checked luggage. So everything you see here is going to check luggage. Let me just talk about what it is and why I've got it. This is for a trip I'm taking. I'm going to go do some work, aviation work. So I start off with, on this side, okay, first of all, is my headset bag and everything I need. So when I'm doing air-to-air -air work, all that is in here. So air -to -air, my headset, helmet, handheld radio, charger, all that stuff is here. I have additional protective ear uh, going with me in case I'm going to be working on a flight line. Then I've got video stuff, and video is taking up more and more of this whole process. I've got the GoPro and all the accessories and everything I need for the GoPro. The GoPro, great camera. I have my Secuto and my uh, Rode mic, spare batteries, everything in this case. Everything you notice is going to be in separate cases. Uh, that way I can easily grab it. And I try to have different colors, different shapes, so I don't have to think so much or look inside to see what it is. It just know what it is. You might be wondering what that is. This is the small HD. This is the DP6. This is, if you're in a video, this is the way cool thing. Take your LCD on the back of your camera. And now think of it this big. Uh, it's so crisp, you can focus, critically focus with this uh, shooting video. Great tool, more to come on that. I have the uh, spare SB900s, I have my SB9s, all of those are, are, are loaded with uh, batteries already. And uh, you know, so they're all set to go, ready. All they do is go to the hotel, top them off the charge, I'm off the races. I've got my, uh, yeah, pocket wizards, my mini, and my whole set here. I have, just so you know, I have, I have two flashes going in my check, and I have a third that will be in my uh, carry-on that will go with me in the plane. I've got some uh, Justin clamps. I've got my Sennheiser mics that I use for all my video recording. I have a mini light that I uh, use for lighting stuff, which is so important when doing video. Then we move over, kind of talking more about stills. I have a backup uh, XQD Sony reader for the video card in the D4. I have my Sun Sniper strap. In here is my charging and cleaning kit. So everything's in here in two separate cases, okay? My, all my electrical stuff, all my chargers and cords, and all my cleaning gear, spare filter in case it gets broken, but all my cleaning gear is in here that uh, you can see on the other videos. That all goes in this one bag. My Into is five, very important accessory, which I can't really live without. And all this does, believe it or not, fit in one bag and is under the 50 pound limit, uh, which is so important. I have my spare D4 batteries, even though it says D3K, so D4 batteries. I have my Really Right Stuff uh, ground pod, which for aviation is so important. I like this because working on the metal, and then if I'm going to work in a plane, I can push this around. I have rubber tips, so I can work inside a cockpit. So that's just an amazing thing that lets me go flat to the right height. And this head here, in case I need a spare head, We'll come off and go on to this really right stuff with the fluid head for video work. All I have to do is put this plate on, put that head on there, and this tripod's good to go. This is a very tall tripod. It's very physically lightweight, and this fluid head works really great for video. And you're noticing that, uh, you know, video is taking over more and more of the stuff that's going in the bag. Check my weather. I see thunderstorms are coming, so I have my lightning trigger. Okay, that usually goes with me all the time anyway. And then I have my uh, Mountain Smith sling bag, and I have it uh, set up with the backpack straps. Because once I get to location, typically when I'm going to go out, you'll see many postings on the web about this. I'm going to have this with a body 7200, 24, 120, 16, and then like a, a probably either a 20 or a 514 or both of those and a flash. That'll be on my back and the 200 or 400 with another body will be on the Sun Sniper around my shoulder. That's kind of how I work those events. Now, things like uh, 
this bag, and this, and this are always going to be with me. This will vary over here based on what I'm going after. Now, why am I going with so much video, for example, this time? Uh, Sharon will be going with the D7000, and between that and the D4, we plan on doing a number of interviews, basic video, as well as uh, stuff for, you know, like YouTube and here on the blog. So video is taking up more and more. And one thing you're going to learn about video, uh, you know, if you haven't got into it yet, the first thing is sound. Sound is everything. Um, sound is really the big deal. That's why I've got two different types of mics. And then the quality and the sharpness of video, very important as well. So that works really well um, for critical focus. It's a bigger screen. And uh, personally, putting on reading glasses to look at the back of the LCD of the D4, that gets old really fast for me. Um, I, I, I don't know. Don't want to admit I'm getting old, I guess. But anyway, I don't need glasses to see this. And that just rocks. So what you've got here uh, is basically 47.6 pounds, including the case it's going to be in. It all goes uh, into the belly of the plane. And this is my basic, uh, you could say, uh, backup gear or uh, essential uh, support gear that I need to do aviation work. I hope this helps. Gives you a little idea about uh, all the stuff I schlepped to locations.